Hello, everyone. Hopefully that works. I've reinstalled the dog technology. Which is good, because he's over in the corner rolling, snarling, and barking at nothing. Because he is stupid. Love you, buddy, but you dumb. Thanks again to the raid and or host from Peach Saliva, who I just realized just now. If you say her name slowly and have a thick ass Australian accent, sounds like a triumphant yell that she is still alive. Because it's like, oi, criminy, peaches alive. You get it? But only if you're Australian. He rolling around being a dumb shit. He's doing that thing where he's on his back doing this. Ah, ah. And you would think that's because he can't get up. No, he just he just feels like it. Oh my god, it's 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 dead by daylight sensation, peach saliva here on my stream. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Pat, that's posh British. Eh, it's the same thing. Hey. What? I'm gonna make something. No, I just actually had a bowl of chili, just now. Okay. I rapidly ate my chili. Love you. Love you. How you doing? You look tired. I'm tired. Well, eco food. Eco food. Eco food, I will. Then lie down. I, well, I will. No, ma'am. Am I too late? Did Pat put his dick away? Yes. You just missed it. Just missed it. It's wrapped around my torso like a DBZ tail. We kind of can't hear Paige. No. Well, it depends. Did I see your comment about Kislev miniatures? I did not. Also... It's kind of a bummer to see uh, Warhammer 3 getting uh, the bad reviews on Steam, but on the other hand, I can understand it. One, I genuinely believe this might be the first time ever that there is a dedicated Chinese hate bomb review situation on Steam, and it's totally justified. What? What do you mean? So War the w Total War series is actually incredibly popular in China. Uh, but in the for the Chinese promotion, they just gave it to a bunch of influencers who hate the game and spoiled the story and then went, oh man, this game is trash and just shat all over it. And Chinese fans are like, why? Why did you do that? Also, the game runs bad. I have a 3080 and I struggle to hit good frame rates on it. Which, Total War? All of them, pretty much. Why am I 60 FPS? I've ascended. Uh, the actual answer is I found a button I could press. You love to press hey. Uh, love you. Careful, your microphone's behind your head. Wah. Uh oh. Oh, it's stinky. Uh oh, hi, stinky. Oh, hi. oh no. His hi, mama's here. He's got to. He's got to wipe his pants. jowls on her. You want a kid? You want a kid? Oh, yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. I was recently invited to one of those influencer chat rooms where everybody's like, "Hey, pleased to meet you for networking," and I'm like, "Hey, I'm Pat." And then I posted a picture of Zangief, and the fucking thread has been going on nothing but dog and cat pics for like two hours. Look I don't think anyone's talking done. anymore. I Look derailed the shit out of that thing. What did he just press? What do you mean? What's wrong? Zangief hit a button that zoomed in on me for one millisecond. What? What, it, what was that? Hey, bud. He's so strong. Is it Z? X? No, it would be one of these. F1, yeah. F2, F3, F4, F5. What am I doing? Why would I 
test out random buttons. This is why my stream crashes sometimes. Zangi. Zingy, I'm glad you could be here. Now that he's in 60 FPS, you get a good view at just how dumb looking he is. Come here. You can see you can really see the 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 intelligence. So much intelligence. Big brain. So, I don't know if you could tell. You've probably seen a lot of, you've probably seen a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, Zangief. Um, when you're holding his toy, his whole head changes its entire shape. It's so weird. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Look at the people. <laughs> He's so smart. Just, just brain of a genius. Brain of a big genius. Do I have my color correction on? I don't even know. Okay, guys, do you like color corrected Pat? Or non-color corrected Pat? I very much prefer color corrected Pat. You ever kiss your dog on the face and it's gross, but you're like, I don't care, I love them? I do. You gonna just do this all day? Hey, Pat, who do you like better, Chip or Dale? I don't remember them well enough, so I'm just gonna say Gadget. Ah, the patrician's choice. I don't know what a patrician is. Uh, is that just girl me? Patricia, you get it? <laughs> Do they have defining character traits? Absolutely. Yeah, one wears a hat, the other wears a Hawaiian shirt. No, one of them's more like stuffy and professional, and the other one's kind of lackadaisical and silly. You know, the typical, like, you know, odd couple mishmash. This dog is disgusting. Go get it. Whoa. Wow, he almost caught it. What a dumb idiot. So what's Chip, up with you guys? Chip you guys want to play the Horizon? Chip and Dale, the two genders. <laughs> you know what I really like? That meme of like an incredibly hyper-specific character tra trope that like is everywhere and then somebody goes, gotta be one of my favorite genders. Yeah. Like pretty boys with rapiers. Like Sil that is... Silver-haired villains. Yeah, like man, that is really everywhere, isn't it? The, the pretty boy has the rapier to show you that his penis is thin. Ooh. But we, it will pierce your heart. Ooh, Ooh no. No. Griffith's... Gross. You know why Griffith did Good. all that shit? Because he got a good old spaghetti wiener. Give him the old dick twist. The, so there's a lot that's to love about that guy. But the... Yeah. Give him the old dick twist is like the, the pronunciation on it. But then he does this. Yeah. Like and like he's practiced it. That's yeah. that's the dick twist move. That is hot, Cozy. I knew Cozy would follow you here. I knew it. What do you mean? I I directly pointed him. Yeah, here. but Cozy Cozy's just always around when things are hot. It's, it's just true. how it goes. Hey, let's thank some people before we horizon it up. I'm gonna hit this button so that we can have the same thing happen that happens every single time I stream a Sony game at mi at midnight. Let's take a look. Oh, I don't even have the fucking webcam on on this fucking thing. Hold on a sec. Boop. There's me. And uh, where, what color do I want? The regular one. Wee. So we can have that fun experience where it hits zero and says the game has failed to unlock because that's how Sony's fucking thing works every single time. Every time. Daku has a very interesting uh question is cozy around when things are hot or are things hot because cozy is here no, he's just always here man oh i already see him in the podcast we'll be talking about bullshit like barfing on babies or whatever and he'll just be there just going that's hot 
Am I streaming the live letter tomorrow? I don't know. Is it going to be a boring one or a good one? Tell me that right now, person who doesn't know. Let's say, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I mean, I'm I'm just a scrub, and I don't know what I'm talking about in Final Fantasy because I don't play Savage, but... Um, uh, but uh, I would be interested in hearing what's up new for the game, uh, the new adventure. Uh, I don't know if you know this page, hmm. but since Endwalker was the definitive end to all things Final Fantasy XIV has set up until now, the next patch will be starting the next arc of the story. Oh. It will be a completely different, like, adventure. Wow. Which, like... Good luck with that. Would I ever consider playing Vagrant Story on stream? Yes, I did once consider it. Then I played Vagrant Story for 10 minutes and went, oh my god, I don't remember how to attack in this fucking game. But Ashley Riot is a cool name. No! I went to kiss him, but he hears you making food noise. He run away. What thoughts do I have about Horizon's story? Well, I wish I hadn't been spoiled on it literally the day that it came out. Where on Twitter I said, wow, this Horizon game seems cool. And somebody said, hey, did you know that X is an X? And I went, cool. Lit. And then I played through it halfway twice and stopped at the desert both times. Uh, that being said, Ted Farrow sucks shit. That part is cool. I actually spoke with Gene about the story about a half hour ago. Uh, no, uh, before Page of Stream, and was like, hey, if I know that blank is a blank, and Ted Farrow's a dank bitch, am I up to date? And he's like, actually, like, a lot, like, pretty much. And then he filled me in about Lance Reddick. And how Lance Reddick is is cool. Be careful, those already Elden, spo Elden Ring spoilers out there. Dude, there were Elden Ring spoilers out there two months ago. When people fucking hacked out every single line of recorded dialogue in the game. You know what the great thing about Elden Ring spoilers? They're gonna tell you, you fight the Queen of Terabithia on the altar of the unseen. And you're gonna be like, cool, what? And then you're gonna get there, and you're, you're gonna see that come on the screen, and you're gonna go, cool, what? There are people playing it on stream right now? That's hilarious. Remember a few days ago I told you that retail copies were in stores? That's it. Well, you can't stream it on Twitch. But if you find a fucking jank-ass uh, Russian streaming service that doesn't give a fuck about crimes, um, uh, then yeah. Still waiting on my code. I'm not special enough for a code. <laughs> um, but heard about it because it means I'm a baby. Don't roll your eyes at me, woman. Paige is rolling her eyes at me. Now she's throwing up her hands! Now she's... Oh no! Oh no! I pre-ordered Ghostwire Tokyo. Are you interested in that? Yes, I am. It's definitely not what I thought it was going to be. But now that I see that it's Evil Within 3 in Japan, I'm kind of interested. Alright, let's thank some people for real. Will Boy sub. So did Invisibliss. Thanks, guys. Peach... Is alive. Uh, Kit rated my, my stream. Thanks, Peach. That's me. Tysuru sub. Thanks, Tysuru. Captain Thick Thighs. Good name. Thanks, Cap. I just want to say it was donate here or the church, and your streams are shorter. Keep it up. Lit. Mm -hmm. But hell is forever. Saudi kicked in a sub. Thanks, Saudi. Yakimo Yomi kicked in a sub to say that attention of Joran workers give us dog noise. No, dog noise is off for now. I will allow you to hear dog noise at, at, at under my decisions. Mask and Michael kicked in five hundred bits uh, to say something horrible, which I am now like pseudo mandated to read. So I'm going to read it. 
but I don't agree with what is being said here. I try not to get too political on this show, uh, but I am going to go ahead and read what Mask of Michael typed here, and you can take your own conclusions. Uh, just don't hate on me for it. Sparta, just a cussy. Dante, Pizussy. Virgil, power -ussy. Nero, Kyrie. Actually got really funny there at the end. Terpander Lux kicked in a sub. Thanks, Terpander Lux. Uh, depressed Skeleton sub. Hey, Depressed Skeleton. How are you doing? Oh, right. I check out the stream and you're already talking about Australians. Sheesh, Pat. I love Australians. I've never met an Australian I didn't like. True. Batting average of 100. I don't know how batting averages work, but it's good. Australians are very nice. Yes. Come to think of it, I've never met a British person I didn't like. Which is ironic. That is weird, isn't it? I've met a couple Americans I didn't like, but I know literally hundreds of Americans. You guys have a great record. I like one American a lot. that one Elmo got him Ronald McDownload man I Ronald I gotta say a lot of people have good names yours is a great name to say don't you love saying Ronald McDownload's name, it's a good name. Ronald McDownload subbed more like Horizon Forbidden Ass. Yeah, I got nothing. Wow! That's terrible. Even if you wanted to go crude, you would just say Forbidden Breasts. It's right there. It even shares a full syllable. Don't say Forbidden Wussy. What? I think the absolute ultimate proof that my brain is ruined by you freaks is I didn't see forbidden wussy right I saw forbidden wussy like like a whale pussy <sighs> we live in a clown society Kai9 kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Kai9. Hey, Pat, just finished Final Fantasy Tactics. What a fun time filled with memorable characters and class warfare. I'm gonna take a break, but I'm thinking of trying Romancing Saga 2. I hear like it's playing like an evil empire in JRPG finally. Excited. I have genuinely never heard one good thing about the Saga games other than when I talk shit about them, people tell me that I'm a stupid shit ass. So I don't know how to feel about those games. But I have personally never played Romancing Saga or 2. So good luck with that. Big Coffee sub. Thanks, Big Coffee. Hey, Pat, two questions. One, what's my favorite box cutter? I like the Mastercrafts. Uh, and two, I can't find your other pillar streams past the first. Am I blind? Well, the VOD's up. And the, uh, the, the pure upload of that will be coming out tomorrow at 7 p.m. Because anything I put up on Twitch has to wait two days before I put it up somewhere else. Hope that answers your question. Spontaneous C kicked in a sub. Thanks, Spontaneous. Whatever you do, Pat, don't try and play Three Kingdoms on your setup. All the menus are bright-ass white, and there's no dark mode, official or modded. Even my little 4K monitor causes the blindness. That sucks, dude. Man, New York Times is so fucking out of touch. Can you believe they fucking think people want white mode by fucking default? Light mode on default with fucking Wordle? Those stupid fucking idiots. No. I'm... Literally busy. Oh. Sorry, Paige. Yeah, where's my phone? Did you take it to do my wordle? I don't know where my phone is. My phone's over there. Hey, Robo Token, gift of the sub. Thanks, Robo Token. 
Chance H gifted 4,000 bits. Wow. Thanks, Chance H. I finally got a normal 9 to 5 job, which many people would dislike. That's my own edit. After working swing shift the past three years. Fuck that! Good for you on getting a 9 to 5! Fucking swing shift. Oh, Time to have a social life again. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. 100%. Swing shift. Swing shift is, hey, we need somebody. Come in. It's on call. It's bullshit. Swing shift's 2 to 10? What? That's not what it means out here. Anyway, good job, Chance. Mr. Boris Makarov kicked in a sub. Five years, thanks for the stream. You're quite welcome, Boris. I really appreciate you. I'm glad to see you always here. Cujo Fire 990 kicked in a sub. 51 months. Yeah, let's go. You too, Cujo Fire. Blooming Zonda sub. Hey, Pat, with all the games coming up. Oh, my wireless controller just connected. Oh, darn. Get back in there, wireless controller. Blooming Zonda says, hey, Pat, with all the games coming out, the seam up your alley. I hope they're all good. And the patinus grows large. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that, but you're welcome. I mean, I mean, thank, I mean, thank you. I really hope Elden Ring is good. I'm being overwhelmed by a feeling of what if it's bad though, and I'm gonna blame um, a mutual friend of ours for literally asking me on Twitter, "What if it sucks though?" And has planted the brain worm into my mind. Which mutual friend is that? Our very quiet mutual friend. <laughs> what are you gonna do if it sucks? Like, I guess I'll be fucking sad. I guess I'll be sad. Susie says it's not? Where the fuck does Susie say that? Tiger Cat Go kicked in a sub. Thanks, Tiger Cat. A ginger playing a ginger game. Awesome. Here's hoping you like the sequel. Porkmo. Thank you. You know, I really did appre- You know what? I would say I appreciated the first game more than liked it. It was just kind of missing something. Though I did very much enjoy the actual playing of it. When I got to the desert, all the T-Rexes and dinos... Um... Like, really... Really threw me. How do I do this? Uh, never mind, Queequeg. Don't worry about it. When did I get these new animation pad emojis? Uh, Pocket Bear Illustrator made them for me. Well, I gave him money to do that. Right? He didn't just make them for me. And I went, thanks, idiot. No, I was like, hey, can I have an emote? Wait, did he contact me? I can't forget. One of us contacted the other. And at some point during that process... I was like, would you like some money? And he was like, would you like some emotes? And then we went, yes. Isn't the desert right out of the Nora tribe lands? Yeah, I would hit the desert. But I hit the desert twice after 100%ing the Nora tribe lands. And I got a bunch of birds and T-Rexes that just beat my fucking ass in. And somebody had spoiled the ending of the game for me. So it, it wasn't a... I didn't really have a really strong incentive to keep pushing forward. The pacing of that first game had some issues. You put out a thing that said, Artist, talk to me if you want money for emotes. Yeah, okay, that... Yeah, that works. What? Why? Oh, Paige is out here. You have to be closer. I have the dog technology on. Paige is out here doing a dance, saying she could not play the Horizon Zero Dawn because of Aloy's beard. I have never seen someone so utterly clowned on. Some idiot on the Horizon Forbidden West subreddit posted a CG render of Aloy 
and it zoomed in to the peach fuzz on her cheek and said, uh, excuse me, why does Aloy have a beard? And everyone in the thread and then the internet at large is like, oh my god, you have literally never been within three feet of a woman. Like, not even watching high-res pornography. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. And I think about, like, what does it mean to get clowned on by, like, tens of thousands of people? And I think it's funny. <laughs> and now let's get ready for the game to stall out! I'm excited! It's gonna break! It's gonna break every time! I'm excited. By the way, thanks for the subs, Trickillius. Holy shit, there's a new Twitch app for the LG TVs, and boy, it sucks. Won't load subscribe streams because it can't serve an ad first. I can only watch your stream because I'm logged out. It makes me watch an ad first. Great QA. That sucks. Oh, it didn't break! I'm astonished! Thanks, Trickillius. It didn't break! Wow! In incredible! Wow! Come look at this! I, okay, this is the languages offered for text. English, French, Italian, Dutch, uh, uh, Dut? Uh, no, uh, uh, German. That's German. Dutch. Don't know. D don't know. Don't know. Finnish? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Spanish? Portuguese? Don't know. Turkish? Polish? Russian? D don't know. Uh, Korean, Chinese, Japanese. Uh, Latin American, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese. Oh, there are the two. Oh, these are two Chinese. Okay, and Japanese at the bottom. That is easily the most languages I have ever seen supported on a game ever, ever. That's legitimately very impressive. Oh. English, French, Latin American, Spanish, and Port Brazilian Portuguese dub? They never get a dub. Ever. Oh. Huh. <laughs> That's really wild. Though I'm going to play in English. Yeah, that's fine. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit yeah, it's of the Lance Reddick. I love that guy. Question consumed me. Oh wow, it's just literally Lance Reddick. How did our world come to be? Old ones perished a thousand. Oh, they're just gonna spoil ago. Horizon Zero Dawn one in like a the second, so get ready for that. Of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Am I finishing the game on stream only if Elden Ring sucks shit? Forming system composed of nine subordinate functions, each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tending oh, they're terraforming robots. By the machines. That's why. That's just a straight up answer. They're just terraforming robots. And with her. I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn. Oh my god, she was a Mass Born Effect character's clone. A new extinction. <laughs> Driven by Hades, 
malevolent AI, given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. Oh, that's literally just Plants Red Egg. in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. So now we, so, okay, all the stuff happened the first time because of mysterious evil signal. And now we have to go find the mysterious evil signal. Got it. I'm not changing any of these. There are a lot of options here. Co-pilot? Turn this feature on to use a second controller with mirrored controls. Probably allow you to screw up some video game. Favorite performance or resolution? Oh, I don't know which one. Huh? Accessibility. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Sony's games tend to have excellent uh, accessibility options. Oh, it's an accessibility option. So if you're like uh, dexterously uh, uh, handicapped, somebody can literally help you climb up like a tough hill or something like that. That's really cool. I was talking to you. <laughs> you asked me a question and then I answered it. What, why are you looking at yourself like that? Oh, he slimed you? Oh, yeah? Turn the motion blur off. How about we see what the game looks like for one second before I start turning off graphical features? How about that? Yeah, normal seems good. Minimal HUD. Big HUD. I would love to go with minimal HUD. Really? Well, yeah, because the fact that it's uh, an option at all means they might have actually made the game interesting to look at. Auto saves are pretty frequently, but you could turn off the turn on the manual saves if you wanted. I don't know how a, a basilisk that barfs poison terraforms anything, but I'm just gonna roll with it. I asked Cory Barov why God of War didn't have button mapping on Twitter and he blocked you. That's pretty funny. But you can be an abrasive dickhead, be quick. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, we'll starve. Oh, do we screw up the terraforming? We probably screwed up the terraforming. the terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. Oh yeah, those things do bite the dirt it. weird. That's what they're doing. I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. I'm a big fan of games that, like, you beat them, and, and you're night. like, we did it! The same and dream. then you start the next game, and you're like, no, we fucked it up! We fucked it up real bad! I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, 
I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me. Yes, just like Chrono Even Cross. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. This baby's door open. You. And for a moment, I feel whole. Oh no. But it never lasts. She's getting hit with the Thanos. Was that red vine evil shit in the first game at all? Or is this a new problem? New? Cool. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. This world comparatively sucks, but eh. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Is that necklace a cool, important thing? Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know Are you? I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? It must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Yeah. Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. How poisonous well, is that shit? Actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. Oh, she's just got extras of those now? A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. see like this all the time since I was a little girl come on teach you kids about Wi-Fi hey what is he eating ew that bug is huge kill it shall we I didn't skip the first one so much as Breath of the Wild came out. <laughs> Just like I'm not gonna skip this right. one so much as Elden Ring is gonna come out. On the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. God, just the up. worst timing. Just the worst so timing. Time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Just... Well, that's pretty. Wow. Is there a word? Look like the ones in the sacred lands. Is there a word for like a game that looks way better in the real game than in the cutscenes? It's like if a it's like if you're like you go out on a girl. With, sorry, you go out with a girl, 
right? And she's all dolled up. And you're like, I don't know about this. And then she like she like takes a shower at, at her house or whatever, and you see her like fresh faced, and you're like, wow, you look great. You don't know how to do your makeup. Why are you looking at me? No, you you do great with your makeup, honey. You look great all the time. Are you saying that I'm not beautiful, fresh faced? No, I absolutely love you, fresh faced. Oh, so you're saying? And I also love you in the morning when your hair's all messed up and it drives you crazy. That's true. Pat hey, it. boys, do you like it when your girl wakes up and she's like, and her hair all messed up? I think that's really cute. Yeah, Pat likes it when my mascara is like the focus kind of helps weird you see and the runny. And and what is wrong with all of you? I'm triggering a focus this pulse. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm getting a medicinal berry. Ugh. Bitter? No. At least they make you feel better. Oh, Egg in keep girl going. hair and jump out of window. Thank Might you. Want to grab more I should mod that dude. Yeah, you should. That's really yeah. funny. Good idea. I like it when people say confusing things in a very unclear way. That's why you're gonna marry me. Yeah, you're right. Captain Lagasta says, please don't. Don't mind. I will. Hey, this is a lot better. This pulse is a million times better than the first game's, like, lock you in a nightmare detective mode that I hated. Damn, her hair needs to calm down. Yeah, well. It's like she's underwater. So hair physics are this thing where they can't be too subtle because they take up so much performance that if they're too subtle, why did you even bother putting them there? Here too. Look at this red growth. I got a red growth for you. <coughs> Some of the blight is... It's peeling off. It's peeling off. Dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. But there's ruins everywhere! I see a few ways down. What are we after, exactly? The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... Explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Blam! Ooh, that's pretty. Let me check something. I want to see something. What happens if I put it on resolution? What does it turn the frame rate down? Holy shit! What's different? <laughs> what? I didn't see what was different. Okay. Okay, Paige. Yeah. This is resolution mode, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. And this is performance, uh, this is performance mode. Yeah. Oh, she can't see it. Oh, she can't see it. Don't worry about it, honey. I love you very much. You really traveled a long way to get here. I almost caught up to you a couple times, too. But it's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. Nope. We're the we'll go upstairs. Salvaging machine and look, it's those birds. And there they go. Looks like they Goodbye, left a bird. behind. Huh. That's a cool move. Reminds me of, honestly, Tomb Raider 1. How does she know that the water's deep? Focus. Her little robot tells her. What a room, isn't that right now, buddy. Better take a you closer look. Play? No. Oh. Let's examine this carcass. Wait. By default, your HUD set to dynamic. Swipe up with the touchpad to get the full HUD. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There won't be trouble up ahead. There's some Ridgewood by the stream. I can fucking see that Ridgewood.
Yoink. All right. Now to craft some arrows. You know what I like about this tutorial? It's fast, unlike some other tutorial I could think of. The tutorial for the first Done. game. I'm being sarcastic. Me too. Arrows ready. Now I can shoot the gun. There's a ladder. Th this way. But can't reach it from here. Really? Well -placed arrow I could free. reach that. Just have to target the lock. After you. I could do it. Oh, square is weird. Forgot she had her sharp stick. By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission... The, uh, message I found. Didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, I um, see. What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. How's the melee feel compared to the first game? I can only tell you once I actually hit something, but it feels nice. Well, it's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. light looks awful. <laughs> Good job on making a threatening, like, spore. Oh, and it actually does hurt me. Alright. You guys gotta excuse me. Somebody's yowling to shit. And I have to take her upstairs because her back hurts. No! I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Hey, we're back. Hey. Why am I switching the fucking camera? I, I, it's already in the good one. I bet we're gonna... Oh, God. We're gonna find some AI recording that's like, Fuck the Zuck. Go to Frisco. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Is that a... Is that like a meerkat? Like just a regular cat. Have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Shoot it in the ass. I'm ready. Okay, concentrate. Got it. Another one's coming. Find anything good? A few supplies. Are you mad? You and my notebook. They don't like it's, it gets shot in the face. They don't like getting shot in the compressed air sack. Or the resource container. Oh! How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Short pulses will give you a valuable machinery. So, after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Give me that. Someone shot this machine, too. What machine? What are you talking about? Where are you? Where'd you go? He's a fucking ghost. Seriously, where'd he Oh, he's over here. I bet. If I do this. Shut up. Really? Got it. said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah, I found yeah. it in the shittier tutorial. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Hey, where are you going? What? Why? Is this nice for you? Okay, good. It's 
small. You threw your toy back there. You have to be sad now. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. I can't believe any technology works at this point. Please no, it's some kind of research scan. shit. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Fuck you, Zuck. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. Yeah. Can I get can I get in can I get in here? Hello? Bummer. Oh, I can get up. Oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Not going that way. I should be able to pry this open. That's not the right button. Oh, that's a really hard press. Stuck. Okay, I'm He's not stuck. Here. Guess someone dropped in from above. They just needed him down from there. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Medicinal. Ugh. What's that stench? I don't know. Entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crash Yo, that again. sucks. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Wow, look at this, like, trench that got the... These guys got owned. Look at this acid. This cute video game acid effect. some of the debris we might be able to squeeze through maybe i can find something to help in the camp hey, Lord, maybe you can here. i think i got something already that was fast it's some kind of osram prototype i think this hook looks like it can latch onto things and this gear pulls it this might be the fastest mm -hmm. I, we've ever gotten like a, a core token, upgrade to a sequel can repair it Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Give me a grappling hook. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. I want a grappling hook right now. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Uh huh. Oh, it's over there. Machine cable, stronger than rope. 
All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. All right, let's- You could use this workbench. I could use this workbench that's conveniently undestroyed. Let's do it. I can make a pull caster. There. Uh, pull caster. Oh, that's why it now sounds stupid, because she just comes up with the name on the spot. I like that. Ah, I see. It's got to have a graded pattern. Tap the triangle button. What is... How do I know? Okay, whatever. To fire it. Ah. I see. Doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. It's that thing. Huh. What's this thing for? It's What's the this? puzzle. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to. Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into Oh the god, the backups in we'll space! Oh, that's a trouble. This auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Didn't turn up much. I better scan. Data. Hey, Varl. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Grab specific points. Jump and tap X. Well, that's easy. Wow, that works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. That's gonna be a fun platforming tool. I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Oh, how nice of me. Go, Remember, Varl. kids, you can climb on anything Thanks. labeled yellow. Did you see the big jump I did? Explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. humanity's first off-world colony. The 
The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Is this a Horizon Something One thing? And it blew up. All blew up. Oh no. That's just in the email? Cool. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Probably. Error. Public presentation file corrupted. That's Member fine. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Sure. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? Ugh. We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. So the horizon is what happens if, if Mark Zuckerberg manages to buy that land out in Hawaii that he's fighting the Hawaiians over. And you've seen how we're it's a straight line from that to this. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. Out great for thirteen settlers. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. Yeah. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah. yeah well, didn't work out for them in the end. Yeah, the dead. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. They dead. I bet it's over there. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. I wonder what catastrophic nightmare fuck up we we're gonna encounter. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. That means we have to go out to San Francisco. You know what I mean? So. Taraj, I did I play the first one. I played fly. exactly half of You're the first one. Of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. Show off. Yeah. Like a third. Okay, a third. My focus might be able to help you. What the... There's another chest. True that. I mean, if you guys would rather me go back and finish Horizon 1 before playing this, I could just play neither. Because that's the current series of options. Yikes, Ted Farrow gets worse at the latter half. I never encountered Ted Farrow myself, but only through people spoiling me. Keep your guard up. Oh my God. Exclusively through people spoiling me. Up here. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. 
I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. I can do this. I can stab. I can stab a tiny cat robot. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. In position. Ready when you are. Well, give me a second, bro. This is cute. Take that! Right in your ass. Gotcha. Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Good job, Varl. I'm gonna get the parts off yours. Not more of them. Hey, it's that same red grass. I've got your back. Wait, he's gonna come straight towards me? Oh no, what am I gonna do? I think I figured it out. Got him. Yeah, stealth grass is nice. I like it. You gotta come right over here. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Got them all. Sorry, buddy. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. <laughs> Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. That sucks, bro. Make sure to tell us that the blight is bad by killing cute animal. Everyone love cute animal. Wait, what? That's a normal human fireplace. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'm going great out here. Ooh, a corpse. A corpse to the hell didn't have a chance to use it. Overheal past your maximum health. Interesting. Good to know. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. Huh. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Thank you. And not blow Just yourself up. And got more supplies. Ooh. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Maybe we Might can. Handy against machines. Good idea. To craft a blast trap, hold down, then hunter hunter kit button. I 
I can use this. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osirum shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. I need more blast okay. paste. I should have what I need to craft a trap. One blast, please. There. Explosive trap made. Actually, two blasts. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Jump attach. Over really? Here. Aloy, I think I see a way up. Cool. Machine's head. I don't think they spotted us. I better scan them. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Machine before. A scrounger. Okay, resource. Hit it in its little wingy parts and its power cells on the butt. That's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. I did it. Should I be this close? Probably not. Dude, Varl, Varl, Varl! I like how there's just a symbol on the screen that just said kill. That's all it needs, just kill. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna get all these trees. My need to gather every errant item is strong. But how? Must be this way. It will. It will. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. Not but quite. I can't do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. It's complicated. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. I saw a word. There it is. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. But it doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'm gonna go blah blah blah, copy, Homer Archive, 500 ectogenic chambers. 
Copy the alpha build of our Apollo database the week prior to the alpha, blah, 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 blah. It should be noticed that Dr. Sobek was reluctant, blah, blah, blah. Data corrupted. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Ooh, they lock Let's you see. down. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Looks like we've got to climb up. Yeah. Attempt to pulse and highlight nearby handholds, huh? Oh, well, that's nice. It's a little much, but I can do that. Oh no. Okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. Oh, it's too far. I did it. Well, it is a thousand years old. Nailed it. I don't know how he's gonna get up, but he'll figure it out. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Tell me some cynical shit, please. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. They stole it! As well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades Protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. Aloy, that looks like you. Is attached. This concludes the executive summary. Eloy, why does that look like you? Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, what's that why matter does now? That woman look like you. Uh, um, it's okay, bro. We look alike because. Oh, I didn't have to play the first game at all. Exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I. Wasn't born. I was made huh. by a machine. Hot. It's why I'm motherless. Why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this is a lot to dump on this dude. Is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but. She's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. I don't know. The distinction sure? here is pretty like middling. I have to. I actually have to agree with Varl here. You will too, with the focus. But for now, it's not a god. It's just an all-powerful AI that can create life in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay. <laughs> Come on. We're using bows and arrows here. Oh, 
Come on. <laughs> Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Is it a new upgrade again? A weapon. Thanks, Merle. Is it a gun? We should keep moving. After you. Frost blasting. It is a gun! How do I use it? L1 and just switch to it. Got it. I see. It's just a gun. Down here. I'm shocked that worked with no problem. Oh, look at him being all fancy and shit. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look at that big fucking snake. In the same direction we're going. Wow. You know what's a great thing about that robot's design? Red on... Red on yellow, you're okay, fellow. Red on black, you're dead, Jack. Another one of those machines. I could try and find you up in it. Ooh! Look at that thing. Grounder, huh? It's weak versus wind, but also ice. Machine couldn't take the cold. Fucking own. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Looks like we can cross over here. Man, these guys are so fucked. Green swirls, big poison. My mistake. This looks nice. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? Fuck Ted Farrow. No. He was worse. I had it backwards? Whatever. I don't let snakes bite me. I'm built different that way. I would never let a snake bite me. Wow. That big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Yeah, it'd be fucking cool. I want to go to space one day. Awesome. Maybe it's a bit of a silly pipe dream. But the idea, it is possible, I guess, in my lifetime that I may be able to see the Earth from space. That's my one bucket list item. I just want to see it. Machines patrolling ahead. Just Google it, bro, dude. Focus to keep track. The fact that your name is Earth Boy is kind of incredible. 
so good job. Unaware. Suspicious. Confirmed. Where's his path? Why is he so far over there? That's way outside his path. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Man, this game's, like, it's got lots of foilage. I don't know if you guys can tell how much foilage it got, but it's a lot. Was that entire sentence an excuse to make people upset by using the word foilage? Maybe. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Hey, dude. Whoa! Fuck. Okay, now how to get out of here. I love sand foliage, it's fun. We get out of here this way, I anyway. believe. He's talking to Gene, he says this game has very good pacing. So tell me something. Compared to the first one, anyway. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Damn, that's dour. Hey look, it's red beams. Letting us know that we'll go to San Francisco later. Where we have to dodge piles of human shit and piss to find Gaia. There's tons of them. Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osram, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing. How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Really? Hey, Loy. Trust me. And there she goes. That's it? That's the whole plan? Just yeah, we'll figure, figure it out. Yeah. To figure out how to make it fall into the basin. Oh, here's the button. <laughs> I did it. Fancy stealth grass, death grass. Stealth grass, death grass. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. Oh, this tutorial's a million times better. Goddamn. Oh, hey. Hey, doggy.
Hello, doggy. That was worth it. No one can see me. It's impossible. It's so secret. Gotcha. Not a problemo. I wonder where I pick, get the rock pickups. Ooh, fuck that! Skills! That is roughly a million times more skills than the first game. You know, I gotta say, it cannot be underestimated how important the layout of your skill tree in a game like this is. It's it's like, out after combat feel, it's like the number one thing you can do to make your character good. Look at that gross shit. It's pretty though, I like it. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower. Is that magenta? Or is it just slightly off? Because I was just talking to Paige about um, magenta being the, the cosmic color. No, Magenta's a little lighter. Okay, there's a hole up there. I think I'll reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. Yo, that launch thing is cool. More games need grapple hooks. If you have a game that could possibly support a grapple hook, you should seriously consider Im implementing so it. Long, there were three giant machines killing us or leaving acid everywhere. Huh. It wanted me to come up here. Now I'm- Aha! Well, that sounds good. The storm's getting bad. Oh! They got a pyramid over there. Uh, 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 I was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. But there is a cable here. Maybe I can write it. Uh, That's too fast. Uh, Not a problem. Barely holding together. Yeah, for real. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. Oh, but there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. This could never have an unintended side effect. Wait, why are there stealth here? Oh, great. More machines in my way. I knew it. I'm so smart. Pet is so smart. I'm Pet. Oh no. What was that noise? Oh no, they're all over the place.
Huh. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. He can't see me. He can't see me at all. Not even a little. It was fine. It was fine. My first stealth fucky wucky. It will not be my last. Don't worry about it. It will get worse from here. Control console might be in there. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. I'm happy with how much more like active this tutorial is. The original was, was extraordinarily passive, which was, was really horribly segmented. Why does this plan rely on them just staring at it fall on them? The shadow's caught up in those cables. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? How? How would I get up the tower? How? How could I get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here. How could I get up the tower? Actually, I know I have to get up there. Before that, I am actually a little confused. Maybe there is a convenient yellow ledge. Aha! No, that's on the back. Lucky if those cables don't snap you in half like in The Die Hard 3. A really underrated movie, by the way. I know Die Hard 1's the better, because of course it is, but Die Hard 3's pretty good. Sam Jackson's in. Okay, the 
again doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. reason why the fucking storm on the horizon is red and evil? I assume that's because the terraforming is breaking. Almost there. I did it. Take that, snakes. Yeah, there was one that had to get away, of course. Boy, this is some rickety shit you've decided to stand on. we got hard outer body large vibrating metal plates serrated oil soil churners gooey glow blasts metabyte storage shock storage purge water store I don't even know what okay it's got a lot of weak points it's got a lot of weak points actually Oh, it's pissing on me. Sack's full of acid. I should target it first. Hey, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, it's so mad. Look how mad he is. Oh boy. All right, that's one. That's the plates. Oh, how did I do that? Okay. 
We're doing it like that then. Fuck. Oh, I missed my fucking shot. Fuck. That's one. Go back around so I can shoot you. Gotcha. What the fuck is that? Wow. That's a big fancy. Come on, buddy. No ammo. Our button again. Covering its. What is it doing? Oh no. Damn it, it broke free. You gotta take this thing down fast. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Lost ammo. Well, my focus might find something I can use around here. Yeah? Like this? Yeah, how about that? God, it might as well just be Monster Hunter. Step, step up! There you go. Oh, that still hurt. Come on. I got my first skill. Click on it to hit it. Oh, man. Okay. 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 This is smart. This is a big fucking skill tree, and it just tells you, shut up, don't even talk about this one yet. 
You can choose between three, four, five. Okay, you can only choose five of them. What do we got? Mounted defense. That is way, way too limited of me right now. Silent Strike does more damage. Okay. Potent Medicine does more health. Can I zoom out? I don't know. But it, these are quite clear. New melee combos, traps, ranged combat, uh, healing and potions, stealth, and using machines. Increased concentration. So what is this? So, uh, learn the connected skill to unlock. So I would have to learn this, this, and this. So weapon stamina, valor surge master, and this, I then unlock range master. Deal with more damage at range for a limited time. Let's look at the, the what I would call the capstone, capstone skills. Okay, so more damage. High volley. Okay, so I said a few weeks ago that Horizon 1 was literally, like, the, the core idea was made by a gentleman who was a massive monster hunter fucking dweeb. Okay? And more than ever before is that laughably obvious here. Spread Blast. This is a shotgun. Power Shot. Three big O shots -o. Triple Notch. Load up three arrows. Sustained Burst. Unleash an entire clip of bolts. These are just Monster Hunter World moves. Knockdown. Fire special all bow that does no damage, but knocks them down. That's actually really good. Ultra shot. Fire special explosive bolts that can hit targets at long range. That's just Wyvern fire. All right. And the, the little ones are statistical. Yeah, the little ones are statistical. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got toughened. Consume special potion to restore health and resist to magic. Bouncing bomb. Fire an explosive bomb that becomes more powerful with every bounce. Triple shredder. Launch three shredders to your currently selected type. Only one shredder can be caught and reused. Overshield. Burst dodge. Shredder mine. That's really cool. Plant Forager, Sticky, Power Shredder. I can't believe Overshield is on that list. Okay, here's the Stealth one. Stealth Stalker, activate a cloaking device. Decreased, vi oh, you little bit of invisibility. Very high visibility reduction. Brace Shot, fire powerful shot from a kneeling position that explodes. Radial Blast. Attach an overcharged module to your spear and do a big shockwave! Focus shot. Increase your zoom while aiming. Load a second arrow you're currently selected. Fire normally to deplete. So double notch. Got it. Heartbreaker. Deal more damage to machine components. Spike trap. Oh my god, that's just... Okay, yeah. Propelled spike. Splitting spike. That's just Gwyn's fucking override the subroutines. Set them to aggressive or defensive behavior. And then chain burst. 
Damage chains from one enemy to another within 15 seconds. What does that mean? Oh, it just, it links them all. Oh, wow. LR, let's go see the warrior abilities. All the way over. Oh, wait, is this, what is this? Emmental Fury. Oh, just more element. Quick wire. Oh, cool. Penetrating rope. And trap specialist. Makes traps better. What do we got over here? We got bigger hits. Bigger combo. Bigger combo. Good combo. Jump combo. Melee detonator. Blow up arrow with combo. Regular ass spread shot. Burst fire. Half moon slash. I'm sorry? That's like a longsword move. And melee might. Big, big, big. The destroyer combo. That's a sword and shield move. Energy surge. And spinning scythe. Yeah, okay. So what do I pick first? I feel... <sighs> Quick Trapper, no. Maybe Concentration. Not, not the medical one. Maybe Silent Strike. But currently it looks like Concentration would be the most useful for right now. This is a passive boost. Learning passive boosts get multiple to increase their benefits. Got it. So the real question here is whether or not you can unlock all of these. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farl's gonna have to find another way there. That's the real question. Yeah, I'm up late. You could in the last game? Why not this one? Because there's like a million? You're right, I should loot the snake. That's a big fancy snack battle. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. I can do it, she said. But is it still there? No, it was shipped off to San Francisco. Okay. So that Jeff Bezos could come on it. Yeah, literally. Remember, Peter Seal. Uh, he'll retaliate if we exclude him, so I'll have to give him a proper send off. Doesn't mean his usefulness and source material generate a digital puppet. Oh, great. Digital puppet. Please, Are these Peter. walls blue or purple? They're in to go on the closer side of blue, I would think. Oh, that's where it wants me to go? This way, fuckers! Oh, 
there was nothing. What could go wrong with the digital puppet? What could go wrong? Eh. It's here. Really? Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And your subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Well, shit. To be fair, he was doing a legitimate job. Just, uh... Aloy? Kind of not what we need right now. The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. <laughs> now that we've set up the stakes, because you didn't play the first game, probably. all the fault sure of PSP hackers you. like Dark Alex. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast. And whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. You gotta get your cute little butt back home where I can wonder about that dick. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the last. Yeah, he used to be a guardian, you know. Hades. He's gone. Back before they deleted I him. I haven't heard from him since the Sad. battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I. <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay, I. I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually, I've got a better idea. Let's ride the Robo Cows. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's that area I never got to in the first game. By the sun, it's true. She's come back. 
Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Everything about these guys' design fucking owns. Mirai. I love the look of the Sun King soldiers. Dashain. That makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. Stop looking at that ginger hussy. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. That thing looks fucking evil. Oh, she got a statue! One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I'm so it sure turned on something. Somewhere. Here, check it out. out in the forbidden with. Oh, that's where the final boss fight. was? Oh, the turret that everyone tells me is a bad final boss? Uh, oh, is that a statue of me? That's new. Statue! I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. A bit on the nose. I've only played one of the two games. Statue is for the end of this one. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. Looks the same as before. Orb. I could pull this thing out of my mouth. That, no. Bad. No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. This has got a real great feeling of like all she would have had to do was not touch that. Maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Just don't touch it. So it's either Zavala's fault or Ted again. Why would Savala do this? There we go. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Like that. Should be able to get up there now. I 
Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Huh? Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? Oh. An elevator? Let's see. Access lift activated. Huzzah. Go up now. Okay. Engaging maintenance configuration. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. Cool. Look at all them triangles. There's the note. Are triangles evil? No, but they are aggressive. That is the well, far anyway. west. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You wrecked the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, then why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, okay. Oh, I'll come find you. Yes. Well, I don't know. He seems to have done the right thing. Even for you. I don't know why she mad. <sighs> Satan's in a bottle. Well, just don't open the bottle. Satan in it. Yeah, you can't not Didn't open the Satan. Rod know what I found. Hey guys. You went inside it and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Grateful that it's a stormy we gotta day. go to Frisco. Few would have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. That would be lit, man. Uh, the Sun King. Aloy, 
It's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. Shut it's the fuck true. up, kid. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this Give me is a new sick very kind, melee weapon. Uth it. Vanasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? I know who the you guys are. Don't know. Try it on. That's beautiful. That is On actually very the pretty, yes. Of the May these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. And the all everybody did in Sun Kingdom looks fucking super Perhaps cool. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Look at that. That thing rules. To learn more about characters, go to the character bio because we know you didn't play it. We know you didn't play it. We know it. This is for Pat to read later. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. You can change the visibility of Aloy's headpiece. This was an option they had in the last game, and I didn't understand it because all the headpieces looked great. Like, really, they did. They looked really good. Son King, who were you? Wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noth territory. By the sun, that's a Noth? Those guys are well, jerks. Perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. Hope for peace. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> it, it, it's good. The Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions. And the gifts seem to have eased the tension. It's gonna go this bad. You know it's gonna go bad, right? Yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want less Like Aloy's peace. gonna stab their general pope or some shit. Embassy. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. For Shav. One of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Vashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. 
He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands, and has been held ever since. Vashav! Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Oh, dude, he's gonna be Tanakh like a bundle of he is well, busted biscuits. I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian. What does that belongs. mean? It means exactly what him. it means. I will. Itaman. Itaman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate. Oh, I, I see. Throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps oh, hey, Susie, how you doing? Adventures. <sighs> you make it sound Yeah, easy. Aloy is just like a fucking dick magnet. Every handsome man around is just like, hey, girl, time to go. I, uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This the hair. isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you or hold you back, but I need to know when your mission is over, will you return to Meridian and stay but long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps? You know, it's interesting because, uh, historically, royalty would just be like, I own you now. So this guy's doing pretty good, all things considered. Let's see. I could choose fisting him. I could be like, bro. Or I could be like, well, that's nice. This seems a little extreme. These two seem more reasonable. Personally, I don't know this guy at all. I don't know him at all. All I know is that he's handsome, and that he's got an arm thing, and he likes this. He likes this going on. So I'm gonna go with the brain. It is really not right now. I have to think about staring at, I need to think about finding a, a, the, the robot. Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us, it's not important. At least, not yet. See, hey! See, yeah. hey. I'm acting like a fool. Okay. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. Stop thinking with your dick, bro. And my wishes for your success. Give me a call once the earth is saved. Goodbye, Eloy. As always. Under a lot of pressure right, right now. Can't be thinking about your your ego. Dowager Queen Masadi. Blessed champion. That's a cool hat. What do you say? 
My humblest thanks to you, good Look at all these cool hats. For delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of Shadow. Did I say it right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, I love her hat. Can you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's no. Ben. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something Pretty much. Like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. Good Shoot homework. him in the face. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion. Yeah, you guys are all right. Everyone's design in here is great. Look at this woman's little wing hat thing. And the yellow. Look at this dude! Look, he got a little half cape up on the top! Ah, little Itaman. Such an adorable scamp. I love these guys! Man, the Nora suck ass. Oh, the Nora can go to hell. Bunch of fucking losers. You guys are still doing this stuff over here? Oh, okay. What do we got over here? It's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. Right, can I get a flashback? This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap now. That looks like a big spider. Was it a big spider? Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine Ooh. carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Regular Alight. Regular machine. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. We sure did. I sure did. I was there. She looks even stronger than the And I she saved does. the village. It was me. That's gonna wear a trilby on stream. I only wore a trilby once in my entire life. And it was to go along with the fucking leather trench coat and a Rorschach mask for Halloween at Rocky Horror Picture Show. There, the workbench. At which point, I put my hacked PSP into my pocket and then walked into a potted plant on the sidewalk and smashed that shit into a million pieces. All right, spear upgrade. I did it. Okay, master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator should help in a fight. Hello. Both it, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Wait, what are you talking about? It was cringe. I dressed up as a character for Halloween. One of the only characters in the world that's a short, red-headed man. Go to hell. You both look like you're doing well. 
Ah! Here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. Rocky Horror is cringe as fuck. Ah. Every once in a while. That, um... What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside. You're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Wow, I'm never gonna see these huh? characters again. Oh dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? These are yeah. exclusively hey, for I people admit. who beat the first Edaman's game cute. and want to find He's out what fun. happened to them. And he looks up to me. I like him. I am never so gonna see these to characters wash his hands again. After hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium? Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> oh, goodbye now. Well, I, I know, I know, you're out. Go away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. Game one recap. Hell, I don't know. But I'm please, enjoying myself. Little huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. I have now talked to all my optional friends. Why are they telling me about light melee attacks? Well, that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up. For a little while. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I am absolutely just fine. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. What a nice sounding place. Will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Oh, oh she gonna leave. She gonna reach. leave by herself. She gonna leave by herself. She could ditch Varl. She's gonna ditch him. She's gonna hit it and quit him. Look at this Skyrim cave. Do you guys see that? <sighs> yep. See it. She's quitting it. Walk of shame right here. Y'all seen it. Oh man, I gotta get out of the higher zone that would comprise the Horizon Zero Dawn 1 map. I gotta get out of here. Like you guys are saying DMCA, but like... Just because every just because it has words doesn't necessarily mean it's a copyrighted music song. In the 
They could have made their own music for the game. It's definitely copyrighted. Everything's copyrighted. That doesn't necessarily. Oh, whatever. Give it up. I'm just gonna give up. I'm just gonna give up. I'm, I've, I've given up now. This is me. I'm, I'm done. What was that, the Rocky Mountains? To find, to find the path we lost. And my rain drops in the flood. And this emptiness. How'd you get across that? I assume there's like a, like a road somewhere. But I guess we're watching how she's crossing it right now. Well, that's some pretty ass snow. You know, it's interesting because while riding a robo dog is good because it'll never get tired, uh, it's not warm. Right? So, like, that sucks. Sparks to steal. Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. Wow, that is actually pretty nuts. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Yep. Okay. Wow, are you Aloy from the Genshin Impact? Oh. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines? Oh, he already made that joke. I'm sorry. Nasty Me and Max must be thinking alike little. because we're genius. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangenesses, they're not native to the dodge. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olven. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self appointed. Work stop, which was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that green that shit. No time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. I cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ha! Great. 
Ooh, pretty. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well... That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. Wow. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests. This poor dude most on the left. And worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis. That was Aaron such a great a just to clear the way. Fucking God and so at daybreak. Just. Ugh. Down the valley, then? Yeah. So they <laughs> check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. Thank I'll you. Find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey. Where do you think you're going? To the top of the ridge to wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? George, oh, you yeah, oh, you. Studious to chain scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Errand and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light, Embassy. Oh, now they're gonna let me out into the baby open world. It will be. The little open world for babies, where you can get your baby feet wet. Inventory. Fast travel pack. Got it. What are these made out of? Rocks and meat? Yeah, that's not so bad. Alright, skills. I got another skills to pay my bills. I now have the ability. Wow, that looks cool. I want that. What's this? Yeah, I want that. I'm gonna get that. I gotta find Errand. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Swipe up on the hood. What do we got? Go to Chain Scrape. Go to Errand. How about I hit the button? That's much better. Thank you. How big is the map? Not very, because it's the baby map. See? It's the baby map before you get into the real map. Oh, that's a big meatball. I would like to do a save game. Thank you. This is pretty. Oh, I just gave it a bear with sword. 
Those machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. Yes. Or oh, did it? Could have been better. Could have been worse, too. Oh, uh, yeah, the combat feels a lot better. <gasps> That's a piggy! Damn it! Piggy dipping! Take a look at what were you guys here. Okay, body right. Horns. Attack removal. Got it. Chain reaction on the butt. But only with fire damage. Chain reaction on the butt with purge water damage. And detachable. Okay. So shoot him in shoot him in the gooey parts. Oh shit. They're really strong. I can get that piggy. You guys see that piggy? Piggy dipping. Pig no! No! Got him. First piggy, piggy, piggy dip. I got it. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Oh, one second. Oh, my Peggy. Why are you looking so sad? Why why are you looking so sad? Why why oh. Peggy the, who is my Peggy? He's so sleepy. Late as night late at night for baby. Oh baby oh Oh look at him. Look at him, Peggy Dipper. 
Oh, he piggy dipping. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Okay. Oh, 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 you're so fat. Oh, okay. Oh, you guys, you guys say here. Okay, good boy. Okay. Yeah, he had a long day. Long day of fucking nothing. Oh, oh, he's he's oh he going. Oh, he gonna fall down. Oh, he gonna sleep. This a grease scroll. Mm, love war, got it. Good old grease scroll. That's what I'm talking about. I wonder if the passive that is like walk faster. Ah! I walk faster when uh, stealth. We did it. You guys see that? Because I do. Gemstone. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I don't know if would be interested. You found rare shit. It's good. What, what's up here? <laughs> A climby thing, huh? What do we got, Climby? Huh. That's odd. I can't find anything to do Climby on. Not to stain my hands. Well, that's interesting. Signal These tower. Huh? Have seen better days. Discovered a blocked path. I don't think I can get past them. Guess I should leave it for now. What is that? Not much I can do about those vines for now. Metroid. It even tells you, dude, you can't do it. 
Like, bruh. Exactly. Lens of morning. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess Dumb shaped piece of glass. Keep it for later. Okay. Generalized collectible. What happened if I try to get past that? Oh. Not even a dent. Okay. Piggy dipping at the piggy pond. Now this, like, how do I know if this shit is actually climbable? Solution is actually really good. New quest. That must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Maybe. What oh, cool old town. Good old bitter leaf, whatever the fuck that's for. I wonder how I get rocks. I had five. Ooh! Let the screen shine off carefully. Green shine is very valuable. Take very good care of it, stupid. This looks like an orc town. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Yeah. Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jor of Sorters. Good enough for me. Wow, this, these guys are way more chill than the fucking piece of shit Nora you were dealing with in the beginning of Horizon 1. By the forge. 
Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Yes! Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. A little bit. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You gotta move on. Petra. Oh, shit. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. It's not a very useful map. Workbench. Hunter. Stitcher. This thing. Don't hit me, I forgot. I never forget. Whatever you know. What? Okay, sure, dude. Whatever. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god. There, I did it. Yeah, I need a gear upgrade real fucking bad. Hey, dude. How am I supposed to work with a hammer in this state? Cool. Till Elvin blows that whistle, no one's working anymore. People are visibly working in the back. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> workbench is fruit shops closed, Red. Oh. Okay. Weapon upgrade. Let's see. The bow. Unlocks new ammo and increases my stats. Maybe my math is stupid and shit, but it looks like I can blow through all three upgrades immediately. Not so here. Create job. I'll be honest, I don't really like the frost thing much, but hey. Outfit increases my resistances. Concentration, regen, new slot. Okay. Okay. I might as well upgrade my 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 sling anyway. Why not? I'm gonna upgrade it all. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Trap crafting. Blast trap. Oh, just make just make one. Okay. Potion crafting. Uh-huh. Pouch upgrade. Ah. 
squirrels, raccoons, and boars. Got it. Where would I make my fast travel stuff? Okay, an ammo that deals acid damage is now available. Use your focus to scan enemies to see if they're fucking weak to acid. Acid will build up the corrosion. Once in the state, they'll basically fucking fall apart. Shoot acid canners, stirs with acid arrows to fucking blow it all up. Alright. I already start with ten. A coil slot's been unlocked. Okay. Let's go look at it. Weapon. Not that one. Or that one, actually. Coil. I have no coil. Good. This should be a good, good use of that. It's full. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. I don't know, man. This is your stash. Weird. Let's go look at that thing. It's armor man, got it. Don't make me go around. Make my round. More you say it, more wrong it's that. Yeah. There we go. Eh. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> totally the intended way to get in here. And the lighting is absolutely, totally normal. This is exactly what I'm supposed to look like right in this, in this spot, 100%. Oh, it's Debar. I'm in Debar. Wait, herbalist. What the? What the? I didn't see no herbalist. Oh wow! Sure enough. But you're closed, aren't you? You are. Very natural movement. What are you guys chilling about? Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grip. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. What's the deal with the food? Well, tell me about the people. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. 
Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh no! Oh, yeah. They constantly but the oh. equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for ba and don't get me stuck. And if you refuse I make meal. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. Or the ale. I like this guy. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. I bet I already have that shit. Hello again. How goes your search? About that. What did you need to make... A I can probably pull I'll clean it and for the dishes then I can get I oh they they wait. inverted his lines that's interesting quest errand I need more meat Are you ready? somebody said this place had Gwent and I don't really believe them but at the same time I want to believe oh, no, them. The Ignoring me again. It does. Where? Is this it? Aloy. Even the savior mind about that needs a challenge. Play some strike. Ah. Come to revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set, a Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Uh oh. I 100%ed Gwent in Witcher 3 before I 100%ed the game. All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces, each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Yes. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since but this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually mine have you get zero. To choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. 
pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm. and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Now, yeah. you get to move two machines each round. Perfect. Okay. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. Zero. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Yes. Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking. Not pulling any punches, huh? No. Now grab that second machine. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by so use it your own disc. Let's try doing that. I'm gonna do it. That's about it for your turn then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. Yeah. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit right. them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Yeah. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Yeah, well. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have yes. seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge, and by the look of your machines, you'd be sacrificed, but sometimes overcharge your machine to attack. Yeah. Kill. Ain't that a thrill? Now. Because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. Hell. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice Hell. you have quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Hell! To always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. 
You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces. This is Gwent! The in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after <laughs> night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. To the forge! Thanks. I'll think about it. You're a step closer to mastering the game. Terrain and knockback. Machine types and skills. Let's try a real game. Good luck. Time to get serious. Your move, Red. What? Why? Gotcha! I've got a tough fight ahead of me. Mm. My turn. No. Well, that's done now. I won. Oh, but I'll play you again if you want. I thought it was to seven. Let's do this. I thought we were gonna have more. You're up, Red. Okay, let's see. That's it for me. What's this do? Plus two power, huh? It's one power. me down to one piece. Dead. I am impressed. Time to No, wrong but Oh, I won. Probably shouldn't sound so surprised, huh? All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say no. that machine no. and each no. win Indigate here? Okay. Here we go. I'm up. Board's all yours. Your turn. Okay. Armor is your best friend in this game. I'm telling you. Now that was the I game. did it. Even if I lost. I did it. I did it. This 
is gonna be fun. Scary. You're up, um, Red. Time to get serious. What? No. No. Oh, no. That's it for me. That was brutal. They go, okay, we can only move two at a time. I see. Aha! Your turn. One less piece on the board. goes no well that's done now just one piece okay. left. that sure dampens the forge why can I attack I don't have enough health to attack. No! That was brutal. Oh. <gasps> Looks like I lost. <laughs> Let's play. What do you got? No skill. They're just they're just tougher. These are worth two. Okay. Oh, they can move far. Time to make my move. Your move, Red. Goes. What? 
Your move, Red. One less piece on the board. No. I'm up. That's it for me. Right off the board. Okay, let's see. Board's all yours. That was a surprise. Okay, hold on. How do I rotate it? One less piece on the board. Okay. That was brutal. One. I did it. Right, it's, it's for real now. Gunner. Brazer. Bur Burrower. Yes. Play. Grassland. Get serious. You're up, Red. Wait, is this grassland? Which one's grassland? That's forest. That's grassland. Well, that's done. Dead. Time to get serious. Knocked right off the board. Rotate. Ah, off Dead. The board he goes. Ah, Dead. Right off the board. Your turn. Dead. I was hoping you wouldn't do that. Dead. Oh! Oh! 
my turn. Oh boy. Well, that's done now. Well, spark my forge. Yeah. You have beaten me on every one of my boards. Bitch. Now that deserves a prize, I say. I don't need nothing from you. Brittle back. Br bristle. Give me the bristle back. Give me that shit. Don't be a stranger. Learning machine strike. I learned machine strike. You, know you couldn't resist some good company. Couldn't resist cleaning you out because you suck ass. Oh, that's nice. Unknown something something. Right. Oh, hey, kitty cat. What the fuck quest am I looking at? A little bit to my right. Oh, is it? Wait, why is that? Oh, I'm blind. We are on heavily the blind. Same side here, over. The, what do you want, Olvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. We're not skipping, oh, Petra. I just haven't the seen her. Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. What's up with you, Nakarsha? You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble, ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. Well, what's the deal with the work stoppage, dude? You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the back. Dude, put your work, nipples while away. Only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. Then just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. 
Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. That's a side quest? That seems kind of important, actually. Where's Petra at? Is she over here? Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Get up, Petra. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> Won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? North How's the game? Chainscrape? Pretty good so far. I'm liking rings. it a lot better than the first one. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Eh. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind, <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olvind's wrath than die buried in rubble. All right. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I would appreciate that. Thank you. All right, now that we have actually turned on all the side quests, this means that tomorrow when we stream this, we'll actually be able to go out in the open world and fucking do some shit. But it's the fucking 3.30, and I gotta start getting ready for a bit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this extremely late night fucking stream. I need to find somewhere to save the game manually. Excuse me. This is a good spot. How do I... Tri no, don't. Throw me in with pigs. I dare you. So we're going to save the Aloy, and then I'm going to go sleepy time. Actually, I'm going to take, take the boy make sure he needs to go pee -pees. Where's the fucking, where is it? This? That's a campfire. Now let's manually save, shall we? And then we can just do this. And you go to sleep. Bye-bye. What's the program I use with FF14 to make my latency zero? That would be Mudfish. It's a VPN. Also, look, Kitty. Kitty is there. Hello, Kitty Cat. I love him. All right. Oh. I love you. All right. Let's thank some people, and I'm going to get out of here. I hope there's somebody to raid. Cause this is fucking late as shit. All right, let's thank. Oh, just one. Axel Logic. 
Thanks, Axel Logic, who subbed. Says, Good morning, I just woke up. Mm, Robo source. Thanks, Axel. And that's it for me. Let's go find somebody to raid, because it's late at night. I bet Max is still streaming. Max is still streaming. I bet he's streaming Horizon. He is, in fact, streaming Horizon. Perfect timing. Let's just go stream. Let's just go raid Max. And go. Y'all have a good night, and I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Probably do... You know what? We might actually stream the FF14 thing instead. I'm not sure which, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.